Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Ali. Today, I finally, finally have another episode in my Disney Fanatic Tests official Disney Recipes series. I believe this is episode five in the series and I'm just very, very excited for this content. If you like these types of videos, I will link my Disney playlist in the description below where I have the previous four-ish episodes in the series along with a full array of different Disney inspired content from DIY Disney, testing Disney gadgets, Disney World vlogs, informational Disney videos, and more. Essentially, what this series is all about if you are new here and you haven't watched the previous episodes i have a serious obsession with disney cookbooks i have so many disney cookbooks i actually collect them i just love them so so much i feel like they are so much fun to look through and the recipes look amazing about Two-ish years ago, I was like, I'm collecting all of these cookbooks, but I'm not really making a lot of the recipes. So I decided I would make a little series on my channel where I would go through all the cookbooks, pick out episodes, episodes, hi Allison, where is your brain? Pick out recipes that you really want to test out. I will take those recipes, write down the page number and the cookbook on a little piece of paper, and then I will take those pieces of paper and I will put them inside of a handy dandy Disney popcorn bucket. And then throughout the episode, I just shake it up, pick out a recipe and I test that recipe. It has been so much fun. You guys really seem to enjoy this series as well, which makes me really, really happy. Typically, I will pick out five recipes and I will test anywhere from three of the recipes to all five of them, depending on how intricate the recipe is and how time consuming. So with all that being said, let's shake on up and let's pick out about five recipes. Let's see what we're going to test out for today. The first one is Disney Eats 102, DE 102. So let's get the Disney Eats book which is right here. And let's see what page 102 is. I did this such a long time ago, I don't even remember what recipes I have in here left. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> I have been wanting to test out this recipe forever. It's not really like a recipe that you cook. It's more just like aesthetic, but is the Sleeping Beauty donut cake. It's more just like arranging everything to look like the Sleeping Beauty donut cake. It seems pretty intense, but I'm very <laughs> excited for this. I have been wanting to test this one out since episode one, so I'm super excited about this. Okay, recipe number one will be the Sleeping Beauty donut cake. Recipe number two is TDPC, the Disney Princess Cookbook. The Disney Princess Cookbook, page 152, no, 125. The Disney Princess Cookbook, probably should organize this so I have like all the books out. Where is the Disney Princess Cookbook? Here it is. Okay, let's go to page 125. 125, 125, 125. Toasted oatmeal ice cream. This is kind of like a strange one. You're not making ice cream from scratch but you're doing like add-ins into the ice cream to make it taste like toasted oatmeal ice cream. And this one is inspired by Merida from Brave. Two awesome recipes so far. Let's pick out like three more and see which ones we're going to test out. Next one is CM, Chef Mickey, page 35. Let's get the Chef Mickey book. What is page 35? Page 35 is under soups, I believe. <gasps> obsessed with this at the parks it is the canadian cheddar cheese soup from Lay cellier i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right the steakhouse it is the ooh, i'm so excited about this the cheddar cheese soup okay so far we got three completely different cookbooks which is awesome let's go to the next one dld oh delish loves disney i have to give a little shout out to this cookbook it is this one right here. It's probably the cheapest one out of all the cookbooks that I am sharing with you in today's video. And it's just like a little magazine. It's not even hardcover, but I have to say, this is probably 
my favorite or one of my favorite Disney cookbooks I have ever received. It's all like park recipes and it's inspired, inspired by that, I think it's just like a YouTube channel, maybe it's a vlog, Delish. They have the best YouTube content when it comes to Disney inspired videos and I actually kind of want to do a separate video just focused on this magazine cookbook because Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So let me tell you what 12 is. 10, 11, 12. Pepperoni spring rolls. Oh my god. These all seem kind of time consuming, so I don't know if I'll do every single one of them, but let's pick one more out and then we'll do like three to five of them. The last one that we're going to do is DLD41, Delish Loves Disney, page 41. I'm really hoping it is the Jack Jack cookie num nums. I don't know if I said that right, but I really hope that it is that recipe because I really, really, really want to try that recipe. And I know that is from this book. Be Jack Jack, be Jack Jack, be Jack Jack, please be. Yes! <laughs> Jack Jack cookie num nums, absolutely trying this recipe. I am pumped. These are great choices. I think out of this entire series, this is the best array of different recipes that I've picked out. I'm pumped. So we're gonna try out definitely the Num Num cookies and then maybe like three or four more. So let me get to the market, go get all my ingredients and I'll be back to test out these recipes. Look at these little pepperoni egg rolls. Come on, they look professional. They are super crispy, very, very hot. Just took them out of the oil I was frying them in, but please tell me, these don't look like the little egg rolls you can get at Walt Disney World. Did I make these at my house or did I have them delivered from the most magical kingdom of all? There is really no telling I am so so excited about this right now i never had these at disney before so i can't really compare the taste of what these taste like compared to the ones at walt disney world but i do have my marinara sauce right here and we're just gonna dip right on in take a bite and see if it is worth the hype here we go wish me luck Holy cow. Oh my God. <laughs> like I said, I've never had these at Walt Disney World before, but I can confirm they are incredible making them at home. Look at the little cheese pole. It is all melty. Of course, you're not gonna focus. Look at that. Does that look like the ones that you can get 
at Walt Disney World. Let me know in the comments below. Um, excuse me while I take one more big bite and then we move on to the next recipe. This might be one of my favorite things I ever made here in the series also. Oh, my lipstick is off if i look very pale and just like neutral face right now it's because i was frying and i was just sweating so just to disregard this but let me tell you this is a home run an absolute home run Those pepperoni egg rolls were very good. Clearly, I loved them, but they were very, very salty, so I figured we would go in with a little sweet treat next. This is my makeshift Jack Jack Num Num cookies. I kind of failed from the start, and I'm hoping that they still taste good. I accidentally forgot to put, like, who am I? I literally am a baker, not professionally, but I love to bake. I forgot to put the brown sugar and the white sugar into the butter while I was creaming it. So I just added it in after the wet ingredients and I'm just hoping that it doesn't really affect the recipe at all. And then I read in the recipe that you need like the large muffin tins for this and I don't have large muffin tins. I only have like the standard cupcake tins. So my Jack Jack Num Num cookies, they're a little tinier than what you would get at the park. However, they are as thick and they do like replicate the Jack Jack Num Num cookies just on a smaller scale. I have had the Jack Jack Num Num cookies from Hollywood Studios on one of my previous trips and chef's kiss so I can compare taste. Let's just jump right on into it. I allowed it to cool down slightly so it's not like extremely gooey but it's also not completely at room temperature. So here we go. Wish me luck. I'm so excited. Girl, boy, wow. This is like the best video ever. I truly, thoroughly enjoy filming these videos and I hope that you guys get as much enjoyment as I do making all these recipes and testing them out. Look at the inside of this cookie. That is exactly what you get at Hollywood Studios. I'm pretty sure, really Jax? really Jax. I am pretty sure that they have these in Disneyland and I think that they originated in Disneyland but I can tell you that I tested the ones at Hollywood Studios and these are like a 9.999 out of 10 replica of the ones that you can get at Hollywood Studios. They are wonderful. It's not so much like a cookie, it's not a muffin, it's kind of like a cookie meta muffin and they had a love child and it turned into the Jack Jack Num Num cookies. Let's give you one more close up if my camera will focus of what this looks like look at how thick that is 
Yo, I love these. I like the pepperoni egg rolls a little bit more, but these are very, very close second. I'm so confused. I decided to be proactive while making this recipe. This recipe took about 45 minutes to make. So in between cooking the soup, I decided to start doing the dishes and putting all the ingredients away. And in the process of cleaning, I lost my ears. <laughs> I can't find them anywhere. And my kitchen is not large. It's a mystery right now. They're gone. So hopefully this soup is worth it because those were some of my favorite ears. I actually made those ears in a previous Disney DIY video that I have here on my channel and I'll link that in the description below if you're interested but they're like one of my top five favorite ears of ever and I can't find them anywhere. Pretty sure I probably put them in the pantry as I was putting all of like the flour and the chocolate chips away. Anyways here's my soup. It looks really good. I have had this at one of the festivals in Epcot before. I cannot <laughs> afford to go to Les Celliers and go on a Disney trip all at the same time off of my teacher's salary. So I was able to get this at one of the little festivals at one of the kiosks. I think it was like six or seven dollars and it was probably one of my favorite bites of all time in Walt Disney World. So let's see if it tastes as good at home. It's like thick and creamy and it looks super cheesy and I'm very excited and I feel so naked without my ears on right now so hopefully I find them by the time I review and reveal the next recipe in this video. Let's test it out. It looks so good. This video is a massive success. I think out of all of the videos that I have filmed in the series, this one takes the cake. Holy crap. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my God. The only thing I regret about this recipe is me not buying soft pretzels at the market to dip it in. I wish I had a soft pretzel right now to just like dunk in here, but just eating it like this, wow. Me again. Guys, I just had the best idea. How fun would it be for you to host like an Epcot World Showcase Around the World Tour 
at your house with some of your friends you could do like a potluck cookout and you could have each person bring like a meal or a dessert or a snack or a recipe from one of the countries and then you can kind of like set it up in a circle and you just kind of like go around the world and eat and drink in the comfort of your backyard but all Disney showcase recipes I think that would be so much fun I'm just like sitting here eating my soup and I'm like this would be amazing because this is a huge pot I actually cut this recipe in half it should be double the amount of what is in here and I'm like what am I gonna do with all of the soup there's just three humans that eat inside of our house Ellie obviously is not eating that she's only six months old so there's only three of us that will actually enjoy that that's a huge pot it would be so much fun to do like a little world showcase tour in your backyard I think I'm gonna host that this summer I'm very excited and if I do I'll try to film it because I'm so excited for this. I got a little cocky. <laughs> I got a little too cocky in this video about how much I was crushing it. And this is instant karma. <laughs> Look at this. <gasps> what is that? I don't know why I thought that this was going to be like the easiest recipe to try to recreate in today's video because I didn't even have to cook anything or bake anything. All I had to do was assemble ingredients to make it look like a cake that Sleeping Beauty would be proud of. And I did Sleeping Beauty dirty today. I apologize, Aurora. I apologize, Princess Aurora. I am embarrassed by this. But we're still gonna rate today's video like a 12 out of 10 because all the things that I did have to cook and bake I feel like I did really well with. Also, this is the most awkward position I've ever been in. I'm trying to like lean down to be in frame and show my hot mess of a Sleeping Beauty cake. I did find my ears though, so all is good. All is good. So we're going to be ending today's video 
with this <laughs> and i hope that you guys enjoyed watching if you guys like this series give this video a big thumbs up it helps me to know that i should create more of these in the future and if you guys have not subscribed yet to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notifications for all the videos that i put out i love you guys to the moon and back i hope you're having the most magical day and i hope your day is a lot more successful than whatever this is please let me know in the comments what this even is. I love you guys so much again. I hope that you're having a beautiful day and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Bye friends.